Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Well, a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, probably about a year ago actually, I made a giant snake out of Lumigurumi. Doing Lumigurumi, I made this giant snake. And even though I made a mini one and said to people, you can make your own giant one, I had hundreds of requests for the pattern on how to make my giant snake. I was like, no, no, I'm not going to do it. Well, I've decided that I will. Now, in a year, I've learned a lot. And first of all, I've changed how I do my stitches. I don't do my stitches like this anymore. Uh, this is a very loose stitch. Um, it doesn't use as many bands, but it's not the stitch that I prefer. And I don't feel that it's really like a, a true crochet stitch. It's just too, too loose and the results are not the best. And as you can see, for having had it for a year it hasn't rotted which is nice but you can see that stuffing is poking through and it really is not in the best shape he's a, a little bit delicate now so what we are going to do is using the stitch that i prefer which you can find all my stitches in my tips and tricks for lumigurumi um we are going to make a giant snake okay and he's going to be a little bit more of a shaped snaked head you can make him as long as you like okay there is no restriction on how long you are going to make him that's up to you you're going to need 12 millimeter uh, size eyes I've got ones that have got the, the brown eyes they're just what I have that are the largest you're going to need a couple of bands for his tongue and then I use three main colors but you can do it whatever color you like you can use you can use up uh, all your old bands it really doesn't matter and as I said I can't really do a band count because how long you make it is up to you what I will give you a band count on is the head okay and then I will give you a band count for each of the rows now or the rounds what we're going to do is the head in one main color and I'm going to use purple for my um, tutorial and we go do the head you do the neck and then you do three rounds of purple to continue it three rounds of the next color three rounds of the next color and then you're going to repeat that's how I've done mine how you do yours is completely up to you You do all one color really doesn't matter but I've tried to lessen how many bands it's going to take okay so I have this one sitting to one side we have not finished it I'm going to show you how to do the tail using this one because I'm not going to do the entire length I'm going to show you how to do three rounds and change color and then you're going to be on your own until we get to the end you're just going to keep going and doing rounds for as long as you want your snake to be. Okay, so we'll do the head, the first, the neck, the first three rounds, and the second three rounds. And then you'll continue to make it as long as you want, and then we'll do the tail together. So, as I said, 12 millimeter uh, eyes, toy safety eyes, like this. Okay, you're going to need a stitch marker, some red bands, and then whatever colors you're going to want. Now, it's going to take a lot of bands. I would make sure you have at least one packet of your two minor colours and maybe even two packets, depending how many, how long you want your snake to be, of your main colour. Okay, so let's get started. We're starting with a magic ring. It's going to be a magic ring of six and you're going to use your main colour. So you can either use your hook your loom, your loomy loom, your your peg of your loom, whatever you choose to make your magic ring. Let's get started. I'm going to use a hook. I'm going to use my hook and go wrap my band around once and twice. So I have three little loops and I like to use my stitch marker just to help me. You don't have to have this type of stitch marker. If you have um, a C clip, an S clip, a bobby pin, a safety pin, paper clip, all of that works. OK, um, but these are really good because they lock. I love the fact that they lock. Now, as I said, magic ring of six. So you've got one band here and then you have six bands. Okay, two, four, six. Pull through your first band and loop it. Go back through that little end cap that you made and pull your second band through. And then you're going to pull this side through these two loops. Okay, and then go back through your end cap. So this is how we do a magic ring. Once you have enough to grab onto with your fingers, and I do it like that so that you can see very clearly, go back through your end cap and finish off with your other bands. 
And as I said, I have a tips, a Lumigurumi tips and tricks and also a beginner's guide. Have a look at that if you've not done this before. It really will help you to get the hang of how to do these stitches. Spread your little magic ring out so that it's evenly spaced. We're going to do an increase. So we're going to go from six stitches around to 12 stitches around. With our first band, pull it through and we're going to put our stitch marker on that and go through the same stitch again, that first stitch, to do our increase. And then in each stitch for this round, you're doing two stitches, which is how we do our increase. And then by the end of this round, you'll have 12 stitches. The band count that I will do for the head will be in the description of this video. Did I do two in there? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do number ten. And then our last two stitches to take us to twelve. Eleven. And twelve. Okay, so we have twelve stitches around. This is our first stitch. Go through your first stitch. We're going to do... One, two, one, two, three, and four rounds. Okay, so I'm doing, I'm going to put four bands here to mark my rounds. And we're doing four rounds of single crochet. So there's your first stitch. Move your stitch marker. Single crochet only. So it's just one single crochet in eight, each stitch. So you're still going to have 12 stitches in your round so when you've done tw when you've done four rounds this is my first round and i've got three more rounds to do i will catch you back because i'm going to try and make this video so that it is not incredibly long and boring um, so let's do our four rounds and i'll catch you back when we've both done four rounds so i've done my four rounds of single crochet now I'm going to do an increase in every stitch for my next round so I have 24 bands here we had 12 we're going to do two in each stitch which will take us to a band count of 24 so there's your first stitch move your stitch marker go back into that first stitch and do your increase and around we go doing two stitches in every stitch to increase our size from 12 stitches around to 24.
let's count our stitches to make sure we've done that right. We're starting here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 is on my hook. We're now going to do three rounds. I've got three little bands here of single crochet only, okay? And go through your first stitch. the single crochet move your stitch marker and I'm going to meet you back when we've both done three rounds single crochet no increases no decreases you're going to stay with 24 stitches okay so I'll catch you back when we've both done that so I've done my three rounds of single crochet now we're going to do a round of single crochet and increase Okay, so here's our first stitch. Move your stitch marker. And this is going to take us to a total of 36. So that was single crochet, so this one is an increase. Single crochet. Increase. single crochet and an increase and we're going to do this all the way until we get back to our stitch marker single crochet and finish on an increase count your stitches you should have 36 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 is on my hook. Just stretch it out. Well, not stretch it out, but even it out. You don't want to stretch it too much, but you do want it to be even. Now, we're going to do six rounds of single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, still all in the main colour purple so I'm taking one from my little counter pile here you will not be doing an increase or a decrease for these six rounds it is just going to be single crochet all the way around I will catch you back whoops when we have all done six 
rounds, okay? So I've done my rounds. How many did I say? Six. We're now going to do a round of single crochet, single crochet, and decrease. We're going to do a hidden decrease. Okay, so into our first stitch, single crochet, move your stitch marker, and we're reducing this from 36 to 27. Single crochet, and then a hidden decrease. So you're going through the back loop of the next stitch and the back loop of the sticks stitch next to it. Okay, pulling that through like so. Now, if you need help on how to do decreases, please check my Lumigarumi tips and tricks and it will show you how to do a decrease. We are doing a hidden decrease. So we're only going through the back loop of those two stitches. Oops, let's try that one again. Pulled my band through too far. <laughs> and try not to stretch your bands too much. If you stretch them, you will get gaps between your work. Single crochet, single crochet, and we finish on a decrease. Count your stitches. You should have 27. So let's do that. One is on our stitch marker. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27 is on my hook. Right, we're going to do a round of single crochet. No increases, no decreases. Single crochet, whoops, until you get back to the stitch marker, unless you decide, like me, that you're going to unravel all your stitches, just to give yourself a bit of a challenge. <laughs> Pop your first your stitch marker on your first stitch, and around we go. 27 stitches. So you don't want to increase or decrease from that. Oops, I'm busy undoing stitches, aren't I?
Now our next round we're decreasing again and it will be a single crochet and a decrease and it will take our stitch count down to 18. So let's complete this. So we're back to our first stitch, we're going to do a single crochet followed by a decrease, again a hidden decrease, okay? So single crochet for the first stitch, move your stitch marker, now we do a hidden decrease through the two loops, the back loops of the next two stitches and decrease and then a single crochet and then a decrease. By the time we finish this, as I mentioned, we should have 18 stitches. So please count to make sure. Finish on a decrease. I think we're finishing on a decrease. Is that a decrease? Let me just check. That was a single crochet. So yes, we finish on a decrease. Let's check that we have 18 stitches. So our first one has our stitch marker. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 is on our hook. Now, what we need to do is the neck and then we start our body. So the neck, what we're gonna do, this is the last stitch that we just did, okay? We're going to go from the back, pop it through to the front, but we're going to work in, what we want to work in is this little post here, right here, okay? So what we're gonna do, go through the two, the stitch here, two loops, we already went through it once with this one, just going through the back loop. This time we're going through the two loops and popping up through the front two loops. Let me show you again. Through the two loops here, and then here's our next stitch. We're going to push our hook back and pop up this little post. This is called working in the post, and this is the back post. You can also work in the front post, and you're just going to do a single crochet so through from the back to the front, and then pop up through the next stitch from the front to the back to pull this bit. So our actual stitch is here, but we're working on the little post, and it allows us to change the direction of our stitch. So we're going to go all the way around and remember you only want 18 stitches because that's how many we had in our round. Again, if you need help with this stitch and need to see a video that's slower and more close up, look at my Lumigurumi tips and tricks and you will find 
a very short under five minute probably tutorial on how to do that stitch oops I should probably count this to see what we're on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven this is twelve so this is thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen See, come back 17, 17, and this last one is going to be 18. Pop it through like so. Now we're doing three rounds. Our next three rounds are going to be purple, okay? Single crochet only. And what we're doing, we have to skip this little stitch here because actually this stitch that we've got on our hook has gone through that. So we're going to our first stitch, which has got our stitch marker on. And we're going to do a single crochet and pull that through and move our stitch marker to that. That is our first stitch. And we're going to do three rounds of single crochet in purple, okay, just all the way around. And you're going through that little stitch that we made in the post. Do you see it? Just here. And that allows our stitch to go at a right angle to the base of the head. So let's do three rounds of single crochet. When we've done three rounds, I will catch you back and we will change colour and do our next three rounds. Okay? So I have finished my three rounds, as you can see. Now I'm going to change colour and I'm going to change colour to white and then I'm going to do three rounds of white and then I'm going to change colour and move to black and then I'm going to repeat that for the length that I want. Now this is where it's completely up to you how long you want. You can make it as long as you want, as many bands as you have. <laughs> so to change colour we're going to do a slip stitch. Go through your first stitch, take your first band and instead of doing a single crochet you pull it through and you add the purple loop to that white band Okay, on your hook and reclaim and then you go one over the other. That is the equivalent of your little uh, single crochet, okay, because that's going to incorporate your colour change. Go to your next stitch, which is here, and we're going to go all the way around doing single crochet in white. And this is what you're going to do for every colour change that you have for this snake, okay? Single, all we're doing, until we get to the tail, all we're doing is single crochet in rounds, with a slip stitch to change your colour. You're not going to increase or decrease, so you are going to have 18 stitches around. So each round of your snake is going to be 18 stitches, which means if you do do the same pattern as me, which is three rounds of each colour, that's 18 times three for each colour strip that you do, okay? So what's that, 54 per, per uh, round, I think, something like that. Not 54 per round, but 54 per little lump of three. So we're coming up to our last purple stitch, here's our last purple stitch, go through that, do your single crochet, you'll see next to it there's a little white stitch that's sort of oddly shaped, it's sort of at a different angle, that's our slip stitch and we're going to miss that and go into the stitch that's actually got our stitch marker on which is our first stitch, so go in and do your normal single crochet and move your stitch marker, so that is how you change colour, okay, you do a slip stitch at the beginning of the round to change your colour and then when you're at the end of that first round you skip that slip stitch and continue and you're going to do this for three rounds. I'm on round two and it's only a single crochet in each stitch. So if you end up with less or more than 18 stitches in your round 
you've dropped or gained something along the way. Now, when I get to the end of this round, I'm going to stop and we're going to place our eyes and do our tongue. Okay, now the other thing that I should mention is it's up to you when you're going to stuff the head. As you know, I hate um, having stuffing in the way of my stitches. I, I detest it. So I would suggest maybe getting to the end of your three rows or rounds, I'm sorry, of black before you do the stuffing. But I would definitely place your mouth, your little tongue, and eyes before you do the stuffing. So I'm at the end of my second round of white. I'm just going to pop this on here because you know what to do from now on with regard to this. You're literally going to keep going. As you can see here, I've gone white. For, I need another round of white, then three round of black, three round of purple, three round of white, and you just keep going and going and going. Let's do our tongue and our eyes. Now the eyes, and again, it doesn't really matter where you place it, wherever you place it, that's going to be the top of your snake. Okay, so as I mentioned, I've got the 12 millimeter eyes. I felt that they were a little nicer. I'm going to just pick wherever I want to go. Um, and I'm going to be placing them not at the very widest part of my snake's head, just a little bit down from the widest part of my snake's head. So maybe about here. Make sure that you get them on the same row. That is quite important. And how close you put them together, again, is up to you. Okay, so if you want them this close, I think maybe one one down further for me I'm going to try it like that then take the backing of the eye and you want to snap it till you can hear it snap once you don't want it too tight otherwise it will squish the bands and distort their shape there we go, that one clicked, the other one did not click, I don't know quite why. So that's where I'm going to put my um, my eyes. I know it looks a bit odd at the minute, until you sort of stuff it, it does look odd. Next you're going to use your red bands. Now we're going to cap these, so firstly take a single band, wrap it once, twice and three times so it's tight. Take your next red band, spread it out, figure eight, loop it on itself that means you've capped it and s move this little end cap over the top to that that was number one we're going to do another two two we're going to do another one three push this down just a little bit going to do another one just here wrap once twice and three times Take your first band, cap it, slide your little end cap on, that's our first band, let's do the second one, let's do a third one. Now we've got these two together, okay, so there's four little loops, we're going to take a capped band and we want to pull those four loops, all of them, onto that capped band that we just made, like that, and then reclaim. Okay, so that's the little fork of the tongue. We're going to do this, let me see, one, two, three, we'll try four times. You can make it as long as you want, really. So that was one, so let's see, that's two. I think I'm going to do it five times. three, four, I'll do one more, five. Now, before I reclaim the end of my band here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my little face here of my little snake and through my magic ring at the very front okay lining up with the center here I'm going to go through one side and through the other 
of my magic ring like that and then I'm going to reclaim the red onto that. Now what I need to do is pull a purple band through, get rid of my red bands, get those out of the way. I need to pull a purple band through all the way to the other side, which can be a bit tricky as I just proved. <laughs> so I've still got my other, my other end here. So what I'm going to do, find where I want to go through, here and here. Now, gently does it. You can pull one side on like that, go through. I'm going to cheat. <laughs> I'm going to pull it through and then I should have had that on my hook. I'm going to let go of that side, put this on my hook and pull it through like that. Okay, so it's looking like this. Pop the other end of the purple onto your hook and you're going to take one more purple and tie these two together like so. Now this bit you're going to go from the center, from the inside of your snake's head and through the one side of where that purple band is on the magic ring and what you're going to do is pull this end cap or not end cap, the tie off band up through the center like so so that it is captured like that okay it doesn't matter if it's to one side or the other because it's a tongue it can be forked up it really doesn't matter but that's what you're going to do and then with the stuffing and as I mentioned you do it when you're ready I need to buy more stuffing I'm running out oh my goodness it does last a long time just remember don't stuff too much you want to remember that you do not want to pull your stitches apart okay so if you put too much in the stitches will pull apart and you'll see you'll see the stuffing through it that's not a good look so make sure that you're not doing that you can always take some out Get that little stitch marker out the way. So don't stuff the, the nose too much that you end up misshaping and seeing the, uh, seeing the stuffing. You want to make sure that you don't push too much in and that the bands can relax. Now, that's the other thing to remember. Your bands will relax over a little bit of time. Okay, so that is how I've stuffed the head. Now, you're just going to keep going until you've made this little dude as long or as short as you want. And I'm going to catch you back when we're ready to do the tail. So, I'm swapping snakes now. I, I have, um, I'm continuing working on this one, but you need to keep going for the length that you need as I mentioned with my yellow one I have already done him and stuffed him to the length that I want now the stuffing I'm gonna move his head out of the way excuse me guy the stuffing is all the way to the end here okay and it's a little tricky to, to stuff it you sort of you are stuffing it in in clumps um, so you can sort of feel where the clumps are you want to try and make that so that it's as smooth and as even as possible so what we're going to do I finished on black so that my next rounds are going to be yellow which will match my main one's head okay so for this one I'd finish on black to make sure that the tail I could do as purple all right, so that's what I'm doing. So picking up my stitch again. Okay, because I had it on there just to hold it. What I'm going to do for this next round is single crochet, single crochet, decrease. So I'm going to go through my first stitch here and I'm only using yellow to finish this off. Okay, so I'm going to do a single crochet. Now, remember, it's a slip stitch because we're colour changing. So like that, and then do my little stitch, 
move my stitch marker. So the next stitch is a single crochet and then I'm doing a decrease and I'm going to do a hidden decrease in these back two loops. Okay, so there's one loop, there's my other loop. Try and keep that stuffing stuffed in like so. Single crochet through both loops and it's the, the longer it is, the trickier it is. Twist him around a bit. Single crochet. And now I've done two single crochets, so now I do a decrease. Single crochet. single crochet and we're going to do a decrease so through pull my band through single crochet single crochet <laughs> he wants to twirl the other way and a decrease single crochet and I'll finish on a single crochet now next to my single crochet you can see that little orange uh, orange that little yellow slip stitch we've got to miss that okay so our next round is just going to be single crochet we want this to taper gently so we're not going to uh, just do de a decrease straight after this, you know, a round of decreases, which we would normally do to, to close off. We want this to form a little tail similar to the one that we have for my little Amagurumi ghost. So this is just, and I'm, as I said, I'm just working in yellow. We're just going to do a round of single crochet. And as this tail gets a little bit smaller, we will have to add a little bit more stuffing in just so that we don't have a tail with no stuffing in. But we want to get as many stitches as we can done before we do that. So this is just around a single crochet. Oops. Through both loops. Was my elbow <laughs> not me farting in front of you all there we go so our next round is going to be single crochet and decrease so through our first stitch single crochet move your stitch marker now we're going to do a decrease through the back loops only Oops, come here you. Single crochet. Decrease. Single crochet. Decrease. Single crochet, decrease, now I'm going to do the last two, this is a single crochet and then the last two is a, is a decrease so again I'm going, well actually that was a single crochet. It's supposed to be a decrease, but I've only got one stitch left, so I'm just going to do a single crochet, and that's not going to matter. Now I'm back to my first stitch. Now, in the next rounds that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing single crochet all the way around with one decrease in. Not single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease. Single crochet all the way around except for one 
decrease. So I'm going to do a single, whoops, a single crochet, move my stitch marker, and I'm going to do another, and you can do the decrease wherever you like, another single crochet, I'll do another single crochet, and maybe on the fourth stitch I'll do a decrease. Okay, so here I am, I'm going to do a decrease. And then the rest of the stitches are single crochet. That's so that we're decreasing this round by one. Only one. And we're going to do that until we get to a stage where we can tie off. So all of these are just single crochet. Now you might not need to stuff anymore. You might be able to just pull some stuffing down using your hook or you might choose to put a bit of stuffing in. I'm going to do my first stitch as a single crochet and I'm going to put my stitch marker on that and I'm going to get a tiny bit of stuffing to see if I can just put a little tiny bit more in. Here we go. Let's see if I can stretch this open just enough to pop this in. I just don't want empty space, if you know what I mean. All right, so that's, I'm going to leave it like that. Now again, I'm going to, I did my first single crochet. I'm going to maybe do a decrease here. Now, because I'm getting to the end, I'm going to do a decrease through both of the loops like that, just because I find it easier as I get to the end not to do hidden decreases. So that was a decrease. Single crochet. Single crochet. Single crochet. First stitch again, move my stitch marker, oops, <laughs> there we go. I'm going to do a decrease in the next two stitches. There we go. Well, the next the next two stitches are going to be decreased. I'm not doing a decrease in the next two stitches. There we go. I'm nearly at a stage. I'm going to remove my stitch marker. I don't think I really need that anymore. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to do a decrease here. So sort I of have to pull the bands out. And I'm just going to do decreases so that I can tie this off now. Come back here. <laughs> One decrease. I'm going to do another decrease. And tie off. And I'm going to tie off on that stitch there, pulling it through and tying off. And then what I'm going to do is go through the center here like this, up, 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 grab that band and pull it back inside so that it pops out enough that I can know that it's secure. I'm going to stuff any stuffing that's come out through. Now, this trick is to slowly move a little bit of the stuffing 
just smidge it down to the end of the tail a bit like that. Kind of looks like a pencil, doesn't it? But there we go. There is, whoops, come back here, chappy. Here is our snake. He's huge, as you can see. He's quite long. Let me see how long. I think he's the same length as my original one. So we've got from, I'm not including the head, I'm just going from the length of him. We've got 12 inches, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 and a half inches long in total. And um, if you curl him all up, you can kind of see him. There he is. I hope you enjoy. I can't wait to see what colours you do and how yours turn out. But um, this was specifically asked for by, now I hope I say her name, Dragoon Yo on Instagram uh, is the latest person. A lot of people have asked me to do this, but um, they got back to me recently and said, please, I know loads of people have asked you, but I would really like to do it. So thank you again for giving me the push in the right direction. Here he is. I hope you enjoy. Bye.